Hey, it's Neil and Spade tonight. Yes, tonight we're going to have one for you. But I got a, a message the other day on the old tube on my inbox, and he said, can you please review Calculate Linux? There's already, only been a couple of uh, stuff down it. Can you have a look for me? I'll be really appreciative because he's actually doing the uh, translations for them. Yeah, so I thought, yeah, go on in. I haven't looked at it for a really, really long time. I mean, really, really long time. So I thought, I'll go and have a butcher's, see what's in the shop. Oh, dee, dee, yes. Right, this is Calculate Linux desktop, okay? Comes with KDE, not TDK, KDE, and it's super fine, super fast. I'm quite impressed with it, actually. I know it's quite a large download, it's around about 2 gig, so yeah, it's okay. Installed reasonably fast in around about 15 20 minutes, so I'm even quite happy about that too. So, yeah, we'll have a quick look around for you. I'm not going to go too much into it. If you want to, I may go more into it another time, but hey, I'm just going to show you what it's all about. Now, remember, it's based on Gen 2. Yes, Gen 2, yeah. Yeah, don't get frightened. Yeah, I know Gen 2, yeah. But it's all, all done for you. Yeah, no compiling, no. It's all done for you. Really nice. But obviously, if you want a Gen 2 distribution that's for your hardware, you got to do it the big boy's way, or the big girl's way, whatever you call it, really. Yeah, really. Anyway, at the top here, we've got our stop menu, cancel, reboot, and all of that. Lock screen, time and date, my ethernet connection, my volume, clipboard, and my trash. <laughs> Rubbish. You get four desktops for you to look at, so that's pretty cool. And you get your home folder here, so that's quite good. Isn't it? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, I've given it around about 25 gig, 30 gig for um for the install because it does need a large partition. Yeah, we always Gen 2 in it, but I would really recommend this like for a home office environment. For basically, number one stability. Yeah, stability. It ain't gonna go bang. No, no way. And most of the stuff you want to use in an office is already there. You're not gonna have to add anything else. Okay. Okay, but if I go down to the bottom of the screen, you will see you get a little pop-up bar. So, you get Chromium there, we get a K-Mail client, remember it's KDE, yeah, KDE, not TDK. And down here we get Capital Linux Community, their IRC client, I might go and visit that tomorrow or a bit later. Over here we have Copet for instant messaging, which is okay actually, if you like KDE, super fine. A couple of LibreOffice stuff, calculator there as well. Gimpage, now what version of Gimpage we got here? I don't expect it to be 2.8. But it is really, I'm just joking, because I knew it was 2.8. So that's nice, isn't it? Really nice. This is the latest version, by the way. It was released not too long ago, but I thought I'll give it a good look and see what goes down. I'm going to leave it on this system for a little while to see how I go, just just in case it, I have any problems and, you know, check it out. So yeah, all, all in one window. Nice, I love it. Have you noticed a lot of the other 2.8 ones, they come and you still get the three windows, but this one comes with a single window. Nicey, nicey. I'm liking that already. All right, back down to my bottom little W bar, we call it. Got Digicam for your photo management. I'm going to go through the menu as well. But Amrock is also here. And you get SM Player as well. A dictionary and K Write and Console Terminal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like Console. Do you like Console Terminal? I like Console Terminal. Yeah. Okay. It's basic KDE. I'm not going to go too much into it as I said before, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like just in case you want a really stable Gen 2. Okay. Yeah, get Anaconda, a designer, a linguist, and a sandbox to check all your stuff out in. Under education, you get marble. Do you remember marble? Yeah. Well, if you use KDE, you know what it is. It's like a globe, isn't it? So I've been looking at it before, anyway. So let's go and find somewhere. Has it some over here? So they're butchers. And we'll just. Going around about there, and we keep zooming in. Look, we're zooming, we're zooming. Oh, Moscow's over there. Oh, mm, it's Kazakhstan. Oh, a lot of stuff over there. And we scroll in. Ooh, lovely. It's really good educational tool if you just want a basic geography. You can only go so far. Look, if I just keep scrolling in, so you won't actually find if you've got a little town. It ain't going to be on you. It's Google Maps for that, isn't it? Really, I'm going a bit more. But there's loads of stuff in here for Moscow. Look, blimey. Yeah, let's grab a cat. Let's go to a different country, just in case. If we go to Warsaw, which is about there. Let's have a look. Scroll it. It's quite good for Central Europe and stuff like that. Also, yeah, it's Central Europe. We like to be called now. Before I get told off again, by the way. That's pretty good in Germany. Not so much for the UK, though. Okay, because we're out on a limit. We really you know. But if I go to London, it should come up pretty okay. So I scroll in, come across the game. We'll scroll in a bit more. See what the big towns are there. But as soon as you start going to the small towns, there's not a lot there. But hey, that's not their fault. That's not your fault. But if you just want a little look, it's there for you to use. Okay. Under graphics, right, you get quite a few here, as you can see. 
you get acquire images to acquire your images digicam as i've told you before a dng image converter yeah nice gimpy we've been through and gwenview yeah gwenview k snapshot to take a snapshot of your screen which is super duper should we do one yeah go on. so do one take a snapshot no delay and take dun, 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 dun. so it'll be there it'll be taken in my folder somewhere but hey there we go all done do you want to save as yeah yeah save as we'll save that as snapshot one all supportive files we'll save that in home why not there we go all done we can now get rid of that and we've took our snapshot super duper do you want to see it I knew you would, so let's go and have a look. Okay, here we go. Not there though, it's gone. What did I say about? Stuck in the wrong place, obviously, didn't I? Silly me. Somewhere. Oh, there it is, in documents. We can open it up. If it hurries up and does what I want it to do. It's better. Oh, it's coming up in Gwenview, that's why, sorry. My mistake. That's at 40%. So we took our snapshot. That's a snapshot, snapshot even. Okay. Right, where else was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, under internet. Aggregators here, Blue Devil for your Bluetooth, Chook for your blogging client. Now, Chromium is putting in as a browser. I like that addition because Conqueror's not, you know, super duper just yet, is it really? No, it still needs a bit more work. But you get conversation, copet. Internet dial up tool. Do it well. Obviously, some places may need that, so hey. Skype works. It's out of the box. Super duper. Super duper, super duper 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 And you get X11 VNC server as well for doing that stuff you need to do if you're in an office or a big office even. And all multimedia, I and Rock is already here. K3B, the probably the best burning application out there for Linux. Caden Live is here too. I think I've said Apple already actually. Let's go and have a look. Yes, I did. Look. So Caden Live here is as standard, so you can do movies and stuff if you want to, okay? Obviously, you've got a bigger screen, even better, really. Okay. Under Office, well, of course, you get the full LibreOffice suite here. You also get Ocular. K Organize for your personal organizer and contact manager and a multi format dictionary. I can't really speak tonight. Under Settings, you get a Calculate Control or Console Center or Console, even. Okay, we'll call it Console tonight. And System Settings, we all know what it looks like. It's basic KDE. Yes, KDE. But for stability, I think it's super duper, yeah. Under system, of course, you get Dolphin as your file manager. H top, you've got Process Viewer here, but I'm just going to go down to the bottom here. You can see all these, they're all here for you to use anyway. System monitor, I'm just going to check out what it's doing with my system. Right, I would expect it to use at least 280 mega RAM, so I'm not too worried about that. But CPU wise, it's not doing anything at all, really, is it? It's just humming along now with a nice te desktop environment, so that's all right. Okay, what else do you want? Under utilities, okay, there's plenty of stuff here for you to use. You shouldn't, in theory, have to install anything else. If you want to, you can do it. Confine files and folders, and there's a help section, run command and leave. Well, on the whole, it's not put a foot wrong, basically. I've been using it for a little while now. Not too long. Well, yeah, a little while, yeah. And I've installed basically what I didn't really need to install in it. Which is nothing, because it already comes with everything you would need for a small home office, basically. You may need some extra stuff, maybe not. But if you want to, you can just install them yourself. Of course, you get the KG widgets stuff up here for your activities and stuff like that, and unlock your widgets and get more widgets and whatever you want to do. It's all there for you, if you want to do it. But yeah, Gen 2 based stability, go and give it a go. Yeah, scientific Linux? It's not that. No way indeed. This is calculated Linux. Sneaky Linux out. We're out of here. Peace.